All right, guys, this is my new mini Y6 that I built. Um, it's just a DIY a custom built thing. Um, it's 250 millimeters between the motors. Um, it uses a Naze 32 board, uh, range link receiver, and um, FPV is a CMQ 1993X and uh, 400 milliwatt, um, 5.8 gigahertz uh, video transmitter. Um, the motors are Suppo 1510, um, 2400 or uh, 2300 kV motors, and they're um, with 6 amp T motor ESCs. Um, I want to upgrade in the future um, to maybe some like T motor 1806s or um, I don't know something along those lines. I think there there's probably going to be a huge revolution in the mini multi rotor market. So um, uh, I bought these motors because they were really cheap and the speaker controllers were cheap too. Um, so it could get it flying. It's kind of underpowered. I originally wanted to build it to carry a Mobius gimbal, but that was way too much. Um, so right now I just have the Mobius underneath um, the bottom and just some nylon bolts for skis. Uh, it's basically a really simple design. I just cut this shape out um, of pl plex er, plywood and um, used these wooden dowels for the arms. Um, I didn't really, I just kind of drew it on um, this board, if you could see that, and just sketched it out so I knew about how big I had to make it to fit everything and um, yeah, stuff like that. So yeah, probably this is my first really home built multi rotor and definitely my first mini. So it probably could, um, I don't know, maybe the distance between the frame and the props uh, might affect efficiency. Um, but yeah, it flies really well. I get about seven minutes of flight time on one of these 2200s. Um, these are really worn out batteries, so with a new pair, they probably last a while. These are at least two years old. But yeah, uh, it's really simple. I just use hot glue and zip ties to hold the motors on. Um, I think all up weight with the battery and the Mobius is 575, 576 grams, um, which is pretty good compared to some of the mini quads I've seen and stuff but it's way less powerful than like a blackout quad with their motors or like the RCX motors. Um, these things only pull like three or four amps each and uh, but yeah it's fun. It flies around pretty well. I've just been getting it tuned in the Nase 32. I would definitely recommend for um, any multi-rotor. It's really easy to set up. works really well. Um, I'm curious to get the GPS for it and uh, use that maybe start out with it on the mini or uh, go to a full-size quad with it but yeah other than that it's pretty cool I might change the um, 420 camera uh, which doesn't have the infrared filter and then I can use a low light lens and use it for night flying so I might do that because this camera is not very good uh, once it starts getting dark yeah very simple Probably take a lot of weight out of the frame. It definitely could. There's a lot of space here I'm not using, so I could probably shrink the whole thing down and just um, the arms come pretty much all the way up to where the nase is, so there's plenty of sandwiching. And then I use these little nylon bolts and some spacers from the hardware store um, just to hold the, the frame about the same distance. Just use hot glue. Takes crashes pretty well. Um, I just ruined one motor in a big crash. I hit concrete wall. I've also got some carbon fiber props that um, once I get it tuned in a little bit better, I'm, I'll throw those on. Yeah, so um, I'm going to go fly it right now, so uh, probably post up a video later on. Thanks.